It's all about the moments. It's about bringing people together to share, to celebrate, to grieve, but also that very important um, support that is the bedrock of what COPS does. Tim, I have heard all sorts of good things all weekend long here at COPS about what they keep calling their sister organization. So yep. why don't we dive in? You guys are partnered with Concerns of Police Survivors. We were started by uh, a lady uh, who lost her husband in Glasgow in the mid 80s. Um, she battled through because there was nothing like this out there uh, at the time. Um, a friend of hers who was friends with an officer over here who lost his life invited her to Police Week. And when Christine arrived, this is Christine Fulton who started the charity, um, she was kind of skeptical about what it would do until she went to a meeting of survivors. Sure. And she came out of that meeting, so she tells me, and just said, we have to do this in the UK. And she went back and she literally, she's a tenacious, strong-willed woman. And uh, we're celebrating 15 years this year. Wow. So uh, it's, uh, it's, one, it's a, been a journey. But it's about um, the connections that she was able to establish. When she, when she first went back, there was a lot of reticence. You know, you didn't, the police were, uh, were reluctant to discuss on duty death yeah. um, because they didn't want officers thinking about it. Sure. Um, but she said, no, this is important. And looking after the families, our focus is the survivor families yep. because we don't have the number of police deaths that you guys have. Right. So we are lucky the police able, are able to look after the, the, the colleagues better, right. but we focus our work on the actual survivor families. Why did you get involved? What was it that struck um, you important to do? There were a number of things. I, I ran my own business for um, 20 odd years and decided I wanted to move into working with charities. Um, and I was looking, for me, it's about working with charities that you can see and making a difference. I didn't want to work for one of the big guys where you're in an office and you know you're making a difference, but you see it remotely. Yep. Um, I wanted to see it and be tangible. And uh, when the role came up, I applied for it because I could see absolutely the tangibility. And when I went to meet the team and the office, um, it, it was visceral. You could actually feel the passion, you could feel the understanding, and you could you could sense the emotion of how COPS makes a difference. And so I said, I want the job. That's awesome. <laughs> and I, I did the interviews and I was lucky enough, honored actually, is how I feel to have been picked. That's awesome. I'm sure many people who are watching this video are either out in your neck of the woods, so to speak, or have friends and family out there. How can they learn more? Uh, you can visit ukcops.org um, for our website. Um, that will give you all the information about getting in touch with us, uh, the events we run. We run a number of uh, Survivor Week, well, we run a, one big Survivor Weekend and then Relationship Weekends. We do a Partners Weekend, a Children's Weekend, Siblings, and a couple of themed weekends to get people together. Um, it's all about the moments. It's about bringing people together to share, to celebrate, to grieve, but also that very important um, support that is the bedrock of what COPS does. Brother, I appreciate you taking the time. My to do pleasure. This. Thanks for taking the flight out. Good luck on that flight back Thank home. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting that share button. God bless America.